Hello everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. This is a quick video to introduce you to a new benchmark which I think is quite useful. The rapid advancement in LLMs have led to significant improvements in their capabilities, surpassing human performance in various tasks and we already have seen that with the newly released DeepSeekR1 model. But the thing is that existing benchmarks have become saturated making it really challenging to accurately measure AI capabilities. To address this gap, these researchers have introduced Humanity's Last Exam or HLE, which is a comprehensive benchmark consisting of around 3000 extremely challenging questions from diverse subject areas. Let me show you few of the samples from their website and I will drop the link to it in video's description. For example, look at this. This is from the classics where they have given it some Roman inscriptions originally found on a tombstone and then they are asking it to translate it. If you have been following my channel, you may know that I also have been doing something similar where instead of Roman inscriptions, I have been giving the model some ancient runes which are from Western Europe and Northwestern Europe and I am asking it model to translate it and most of the models they fail it. Even I haven't seen good answers from OpenAI's O1 and even from DeepSeekR1 anywhere. And then on the second there is an ecology question and then we have some math and computer science questions. Math question looks quite complicated very that's quite good. I'm also planning to use this with a few of the model testing so stay tuned then look at this linguistic this is the one which i really like because linguistic is one area where llms have improved a lot so i'm very keen to see how they perform with this because this one is quite good i would say and then there is a chemistry one this is a new i think we should be including it more maybe with the vision model because DeepSeek has also released a Janus which does both text and vision. So I believe this could be a good test for that model, especially the 7 billion one. And then trivia. Uh, trivia is okay. I think this should be an easy one. Models know a lot about these sort of trivias. Physics, yes, this could be a good test. And then these are the ones. So if we deep it, uh, dive uh, make a bit deeper dive into this benchmark HLE is designed to be a precise measure of LLM capabilities with a focus on world-class mathematic problems that test deep reasoning skills the benchmark features multi-modal questions including text only and image accompanied questions as well as multiple choice and exact match questions to ensure the quality and difficulty of the questions, what they have done is they have employed a multi-stage review process. This includes testing questions against state-of-the-art LLMs and then a two-stage reviewing process with graduate level reviewers and expert approval and a public review period for community feedback. And that is why if you look at this graph, you would see that on HLE benchmark, Compared against the saturation of some existing benchmarks, the accuracy remains low for every model, whether it is GPT-4, Anthropic Sonnet, or Google's Gemini. All the models have performed really, really low here, which demonstrates its effectiveness for measuring advanced, close-ended academic capabilities, and that is quite impressive. Now on Quantitative results on accuracy, all frontier models achieve low accuracy on humanity's last exam, as you can see in this um, diagram. That highlights significant room for improvement in narrowing the gap between current LLMs and expert level academic capabilities on close ended questions. Given low performance on humanity's last exam, I believe models should be calibrated, recognizing their uncertainty rather than confidently providing incorrect answers, which primarily means hallucination or confabulation. To measure calibration, they have also prompted the model to provide both an answer and their confidence from 0 to 100%. And you can already see that in this paragraph. So 
I believe quite an interesting take on the benchmarking seems quite simple yet quite effective because if you have been following my channel you see that I try out lot of models every week and they reveal a significant gap between current capabilities and expert level academic performance that is why we really need a good quality and of course um, I would say neutral benchmark to measure these models so that's it I hope that you enjoyed it towards the end let me introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are iGenBot iGenBot lets you effortlessly deploy a personalized knowledge bot across platforms like Discord, Slack and others. It is ideal for open source tech communities and startups that provide user support and I will drop the link to their website in video's description. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you for watching.